Austin, Texas. We're gonna try to catch some fish today. Where this little finger cut. Freaking stacked right here. Oh, there we go. Buy him. There we go. Crank him on the side a little bit. What is going on, guys? We are currently going to Lake Austin. It's in Austin, Texas. We're about 20 minutes away. Uh, I'm fishing with a buddy. His name's Nick. Uh, I actually met him, I guess, maybe a couple weeks ago now. Um, super cool dude. He's got a boat, so he's bringing his boat, and we're fishing on that. I think he's also bringing our friend. Uh, we're going to try to catch some fish today. Yesterday, we absolutely destroyed them. We caught, I think, gosh, probably like 40 fish. Roll a short clip. That was insane. That was at Lake Fayette. Uh, but we're fishing Lake Austin today. It is currently overcast. Supposed to be some rainstorms coming in, I think, tonight all day tomorrow and the next day. So there should be some heavy, heavy pressure uh, and these fish should be hungry. So yeah, they should be hungry. I'm super excited. We're not gonna catch like 30, 40 fish like we did yesterday. Well, I'm hoping, I mean, if we catch, if we catch 10 fish, that'll be a pretty good day. 10 for the boat. I will uh, be happy with that. So head into the boat ramp right now uh, and we're gonna unload the boat, see the guys, and uh, we're gonna get to fishing. All right, so we just pulled up the first spot here. Uh, body of water, main body of water is out there about 200 yards. We're in this little finger cut. Um, and we're gonna fish it up for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes, see if see if we get any bites. If not, we'll move on. I think it's 50% of rain tomorrow and then 100% of rain on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fish. I was a fish. It was? Yeah. I was a freaking fish. It's that same one. He's on, he's on a bed. Bam! Swallowed it. I got one fish. The one. That's a big eye. There we go. Dude, they're all in that freaking bed. There's a bed right there. Cranked him on the side of the loop. So uh, this bass was actually basically caught in the same spot, about 15 yards in front of that uh, that tree limb right over there. Probably on a bed, a whole bunch of beds just sitting up there, and uh, they're just cranking it. What I'm throwing, I'm just throwing a watermelon red fluke, weight on it to get it down, and. Uh, just a little, let it sink, five seconds, little tap tap. But it, basically you just flutter back down and then reel up, tap tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pull up really wide. So you don't, you don't get the start from right there. They're freaking stacked right in here. To the left, right to the left of that log, that stick. It's three freaking, four freaking bites. I might throw up. Yeah? What we got here? What we got? Uh, got Was he pulling though? It might have been a stick. I don't know, I think something might have grabbed something. Hard to tell on that rod. Yeah, it's really hard to tell what anything is. There we go. No! Had one on the freaking big eye. 
Regarde. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll swing in a minute. All right, everyone. Nick has something to say. All you kids out there fishing tournaments with your fancy Shimano bait casters, 30 pound braid. Uh, you don't need any of that. Look at this right here. We got a Shakespeare Ugly Stick Ultralight, probably from 1970. I uh, almost fell there. We got a $20 Quantum Optics 10, six pound mono all the way. Caught some monsters on this. Oh yeah. I caught a sailfish on it last summer. Sailfish? Yeah, yeah.